Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video I'm going to work with the uh, relation employee manager. So here in the countries, states, cities and departments, when you go to the edit, we display the employee relation. But right now first we display only the name and I'm going to display also the uh, first name, last name and department and also the create a tab and the next one is so when you go here we have this button here new employee and if i click right now we have only the first name but also we need all the fields to create the employee so we need the country state city department and first name and so on so we need to add them let's go and inside the employee resource here I'm going to copy the what we have inside this form and paste it in all of our relation manager. So first let's open the city here because it's the first one in the employees in the form, remove what we have here inside and paste that in. We need to import all the select country uh, city and so on, all the text input date picker after you have imported that let's go and see now inside the cities okay now if i click edit yeah we have all the fields and if i click new employee we have all the fields so we can create the new employee from here next one i want to display the last name uh, the department and also the created art in the table so also again let's go in the employee resource now inside the table let's copy what we have here so i'm going to do what we have inside here go to the employee relation manager inside the city resource relation manager and when we have the table remove this one and paste what we have here we need to import all the text columns and refresh and yeah now we have also the search so we can search by uh, name john okay good let's do the same thing for the others so i'm going to open now the country relation manager employee and inside the table I'm going to paste that and import everything save close oh sorry we need also we need also in the form so let's copy what we have here and I'm going to do something like this now copy what we have here and paste it inside the form save it and go to the country go to this one we don't have now if i say new one we can create a new uh, employee from here now what we see here we have the select country and I want to leave this because we select a country and when we select a country we update the state and the same for the city we when we change when we change the state we update we change also the city so let's we are inside the US so let's create new from US select New York New York department Vue.js let's say Jan though add something here also at the date and create okay created and we can see we is here and if i go to the employees okay let's do the same thing for the inside the department relation manager employee 
paste the form here. Now, here we don't need the department, so let's remove the department from here because we are inside the department and we don't have a related from for the department. So let's go to the department, Vue.js. We have all the fields here and new, we can create new. We don't have the department because it's going to be by default the Vue.js department. Now the same thing, I want to display all the fields from for the table. So let's copy here and paste it in our text column, import, save, and come here, refresh. And yeah, we have all the fields. The last one is, so city department employee. Now we have the state to do the same thing. So let's open the employee relation manager in the state and inside the table, paste that in, import the text column. And let's also add directly the form. So let's copy from here and paste it inside. Hit save. Make sure you to import all the text input date picker and country, state, also the city. Go to the states, select this one, and now we have employees here. We have also the cities, but in the employees we have ID, first name, last name, department, date hired. We have the search. When we create, we have all the fields, and when we edit, we have all the fields here. Okay, one more thing I want to show you is uh, if you go to the employee resource, widgets, employee states, stats overview. Here we check, here we say get the US country with employees and the same for the UK, but if we don't have the US and UK, country is going to break. So what I am going to do, I'm going to remove this one and say here UK employees the same thing down there so US employees and here check if we have the UK country display the count otherwise say zero the same thing for the US if we have the US country display, otherwise say zero. Save, close this one, go to the employees and everything works. Now if I delete the country, so let's delete this one. Okay, go to the employees, we have US employees zero. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you understand and I think we are at the end. So we add the widget, we can create, edit and delete employees and so on. So this is going to be the last video about this project. I hope you like and don't forget if you like, like the video, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next project. All the best.